In this video, the poles of the spherical gear and the monopole gears are highlighted with yellow color. The pole is special geometrical feature of the spherical gear that has the shape of concentric circles. This special structure emerges because the spherical gear has two involute profiles those are perpendicular to each other on its surface. The pole of the spherical gear and the pole of the monopole gear always mesh each other at the same time. This is the most important and special point of the spherical gear. The red arrow means active power transmission and the blue arrow means passive sliding motion. With this passive sliding motion, the one monopole gear doesn't hinder the power transmission from the other monopole gear to the spherical gear, and the power transmissions of two monopole gears can be superimposed together on the surface of the spherical gear. Thus, infinite and active three degrees of freedom around. Roll. Pitch. Yaw. Axes of the spherical gear are realized by combining powers from two monopole gears. When the yellow poles of the spherical gear and the monopole gear mesh each other, the monopole gear can rotate smoothly around roll axis without activating the spherical gear, because the teeth of the monopole gear slide between the teeth of the spherical gear with their shapes of concentric circles composed of two perpendicular involute curves. With this pole on the monopole gear, it doesn't have to avoid the pole of the spherical gear and can rotate freely to transmit power to the spherical gear. This is the most important geometrical point of the spherical gear and the monopole gear to realize active 3 degrees of freedom.